I got a fucking flashlight? What the fuck? Shit kinda creepy. <laughs> Ooh. Oh shit, a key. You have the key. Make your escape. Let's get the fuck out of here. Nice big open hallway. Good. Hold on. I was about to fucking jam out. Where's the exit? Oh. The game closed. <laughs> Let's play again. I'm running. He left me bleeding. What the fuck do I do now? I'm bleeding. Okay, sure, I guess I just let him fucking kill me. Yeah, honestly, they get the shit out of me, though. <laughs> what the fuck? Hey, I'm trying to go down the nice hallway again. Hit it, hit it, hit it. Why does he troll me like this? I'm trying to see him enter this room. Alright, I guess not. Ugh, bro, that shit when it started popping off. Ew. Are we about to beat this game again? Alright, shit, give me the dub. Let's go, guys. One night, one flumpty. That's not good. Where the other motherfucker? Oh. Wasn't he just... Oh. At all? Guys, we slamming this game. Why does Donkey Kong have like 80 legs? Nah, uh, this game right here got the goofiest resolution by far. <clears throat> there was once a man named Wario. He worked along with a friend of his on Wario's own fast food factory. One day, however, the two men went missing, and they were never found. Since that day, the factory has been closed due to people thinking the factory was cursed. Where did you get these renders from? Seven years later, the government decided to reopen the factory and start the production again. One man has gotten a job as a guard during the night. Uh, am I the night guard? I'm the guard that night.
We win, guys. We win. Dub. No reason look in the cameras. Oh. During this entire game. This game is not an L. It's a dub for Mario. And then, Richard McRoy left Mario's fast food the factory for good. The factory would remain closed after that day and was never opened again. And? What a fucking bloody hope!